Hey guys, Dad here, and I have a kid. A kid. All right, so we have our special unboxing. This is something new for us. This is made by a company called Gosney. Gosney, and Gosney makes what, kid? Pizza. <laughs> they make pizza ovens, right? So this is a company out of the UK. Um, they started selling them here, I believe, not too long ago, maybe a few years ago, maybe roughly. And right now we're going to unbox the stand. This thing is very heavy. Um, as you can see, the stand box is fairly large. Um, we have to as assemble this first. Um, once we assemble this, we're gonna show you guys what it looks like. And once this is all set up, then we'll open up the box for the actual pizza oven. That's right. And it's called the Gosney, the Gosney Dome. All right, so here we go. We're gonna open this up. All right, so we're gonna open this up, guys. And that's what we have. This is a Gosney Dome stand. So we're gonna open this up, and this thing is fairly large. It's very tall. Um, and we're gonna show you guys what it looks like. All right, so here we are opening up the box. We have to flip this open. Uh, oh, there's a lot of pieces in here, man. Open that flap over there. What is this? Wow, this thing. Look at the wheels. For this. These things are massive. <laughs> so that's the other thing, guys. If you're gonna, if you're in the market for the Gosney Dome, you're planning to get one of these, please make sure you have some help. These boxes are very heavy. All right, so we're gonna take all this stuff out. The guy didn't recommend taking out all the screws, setting them on the floor, and assembling it. So we're gonna try to get some assembly footage. So here we go. All right, so we're at the second layer of packaging for the stand, for the Gosney Dome stand. And as you can see, they package this thing fairly well, huh, kid? All right, guys, so here we go. This is the third layer down. Like, these are like the legs or something for the stand. So, that, so we're gonna take this out and we're gonna go down to the next level. And then we're gonna show you all the parts together. All right, here we go. And just when you thought they were <laughs> There's nothing else. There's another part. There's and more. There's another box inside of this box. And then there are like little pieces off to the side. Gosney does a very good job. Hey, Gosney, you guys did an excellent job with packaging. Um, we're really impressed by this. Um, protect the product. All right, so here we are at the final layer of the, um, the Gosney dome box for the stand. And so uh, we're gonna open this up. So what do we have? Oh. oh. But this looks like maybe the platform pieces, like the side tables and a few other wooden pieces. This feels like really nice wood. Um, I believe this is, I don't know if this is bamboo. I don't know what type of wood this is, but it feels really good. So All right, guys, so. <laughs> there is another one. <laughs> All right, so there's another layer of stuff under here, kids. Let's get this out of here. All right, Giant more paper. pieces. These, it looks like the big supporting arms for the, um, for the base. So it has all the screws and the hardware in there, but just look how they made these little cutout pieces of cardboard to help protect all of the pieces in the box from damage during shipping. All right, so we got most of the stuff kind of squared away. These are all of the wooden pieces. Just wanted to show you guys this box because you can see here. Um, so I we... guess there's another box. <laughs> no, um, so we actually have like a screwdriver here. But they included Let's with the kit and a wrench and a wrench all right along with the packages of looks like all of our screws that we need to assemble the stand like I said, we have about one two three four, four packets of screws um and we're gonna get to the instructions and try to put all this together all right all right so once again talking about the packaging they package this very well we're gonna try to slide this other slip thing off. All right, kid, you may have to get the other side. All right, it's like a little. This thing is packaged really well. I know you guys are excited about seeing what's in this box. You've been waiting for quite some time. We may have to just cut this thing. What do you think, kid? Yep. Cut it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna cut it. All right, so we have another box inside of a box. All right, so we're opening this side. Oh, now we're getting to the dome. Okay. So it looks like we have what here? Our instructions on Gosney. 
This is the, there's some uh, more instructions it looks like. So this is the owner's manual here. So there's a few things we need to read over, but I believe inside the styrofoam is where we're gonna find our beautiful new Gosney dome oven. Cutter. Yeah, they included a box cutter for us yeah. to help us slice the box open so we can get down to the dome. So we're not. All right, there we go. You can see there, there's the oven. So to get to it, I believe there's some straps down there that you use to lift it up and put it on the stand. Um, we got to cut the box open. The one important thing I've got to mention as we're assembling this and before we put the dome on, um, there's a screw in like a little spacer that comes with this with the stand. Make sure you put that in before lifting the, um, the oven onto the um, stand. Alright, so we're going to have to lift this up. So there's some straps here that we can straps use. Straps there. Um, this looks like the top part of the oven where the chimney is. Alright, we're almost there guys. Here we go guys. Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one. This is beautiful. Guys, what do we have here, kid? We have the Gosney Pizza Oven Green. We have the green one, yes. This one, I don't see too many of these. You may see them once in a while, um, but we opted for the green one. This is a beautiful color. We love this one. Maybe a lot easier to keep clean than the bone colored one. So um, let's get these boxes out so we can show you the inside. Yes, so we're gonna get these boxes out. All right, good idea. So while Kit's taking the other one out, you see this is the, um, the stone. Um, the two boxes in here. This looks like the probes. Hand that over to the kid. And this is a gas regulator. That uh, stone looks pretty good. There's some silica gel in there to keep everything. I'm back. You're back. Yep. So this is a first look inside of our brand new pizza oven. No cracks on the stone. It looks good. They did a good job with packaging. It looks nice and clean. No cracks or anything. This is the side where the gas comes out. And I believe this is the side for using wood, right? Yeah. So we can put wood over there um, if we choose to. Um, I believe there's some covers in the boxes. Um, if you're using gas, I believe you have to cover this side. So, but we'll figure all that out. Like I said, this is our first time. On the front, you can see that there is a gauge for the temperature. Battery. It needs batteries to put in. We gotta pop this out. And right here, what are these? These are little holes for us to put probes in. So they're temperature probes. So you have two different temperatures. You will have the temperature of the inside of the oven and the probes that you plug in here will tell you the temperature of let's say you're cooking meats or something like that uh, steak um, you put the probe inside it will tell you the temperature of um, the meat that you're cooking but this is beautiful so far we got to put the chimney on i believe this is an accessory for a um, i believe somebody said like a hum humidifier i'm not sure what it is i gotta look that up um over here this is where you light it. Turn that on to light it. Um, a few things we gotta figure out on this thing. So we're fairly new to Gosney so far. What do you think, kid? Mm, looks pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah, this is like a storage area for your wood. This is nice. Okay, so where do you put the gas? Gas is down here. How's it like we have a nice there? cover for our, our tank because the cover that we bought for the oven does not cover the entire thing, uh, but hopefully we can get a nice cover for this pretty soon. Stay tuned, guys. We may have a nice cover for this thing. Um, but let's get the chimney put together. All right, so what do we have here, kid? We have the flu top. This is all the flu top. I believe this is the chimney. Ooh, the chimney. Bubble wrap. Very nice bubble wrap in there. Um, so we're going to open these up and put them on the top. It looks like the chimney comes in two parts, kid. Yeah. All right, so we have this piece. They go together, so I don't know. This one, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Um, 
And this looks like the ash color. So if you're using, um, if you're using wood, I believe this is like a, an ash tray that you put on the other side of the oven. We'll show you guys where you put this in. But once again, very well packed. It's like a little Allen key or something that they include with this. They give us quite a few, few tools with this. Oh, if you got this, they actually include a cover for the top. It's to keep water out of the chimney. And it says gardening. Yes, it does. It says remove rain cap. This is called a rain cap before using the oven. This is nice. This is debossed as well. All right. So here we are. Uh, this is the first piece of the chimney. You can see down inside. It's a two-piece system. This is the second piece. Uh, put that on there. Got that rain cap for me, kid? All right. Put the rain cap on. And there it is. So you move the rain cap when you are using it. When you're done and it's cooled off, you put the uh, cover back on. But they just sit on there. They're not screwed on or anything. I'm so impressed by the finish of this thing. All right. Um, this has a, has a caution warning on the front. The dome must be cured prior to full usage. It means before we use this, we need to turn it on. I believe someone said you have to let this run for a minimum of 30 minutes on low heat to cure it. Um, so we will have to fire this up once we get everything connected. We still have a few other boxes that we need to open up, so let's check. Right, so this is the ash collector for it, and I think it just collects ashes from the bar. So yeah. if, if we're using wood, all your ashes will fall down into here. This makes for an easy cleanup. You just grab onto it, slide it out, dump your ashes, and that's it. So it just sits right in there. So that's what was in that first box. So let's keep going. Right inside this box is the gas regulator. Um, open this up. You can see this is a regulator if you're using propane. Um, and there's a battery. I believe this is for the igniter or for the temperature gauge. I'm not right. And over here we have the thermometer probes. Um, see here. Oh, and the inlet caps as well. So. This is for, I believe, the gas side, and I believe this is for if you're using wood. And here are the probes. So, that's it. That's what's in both of these boxes, and we're going to try to get this hooked up. This is where we put on our gas regulator. Uh -huh. So, take this thing off. All right, shipment cap, pull that off. And see, we have here, this is spring-loaded. We're going to attach this to the oven. Good. I was having a hard time getting this on there. All right, let me pause the video for a second. All right, guys, so we got this on. It's kind of a, let make sure it's nice and tight so you don't have any propane leaks. All right, and we're gonna get down here to our propane tank, which is covered up in this nice bag. So this is a really cool propane tank cover that we found. There's little pockets on there. And we're gonna attach to it here with our regulator here and we're gonna fire this thing up so at the back of the oven oop, and I just lost the screw oh, you have to open this up and I believe this is where we have to put in the um, the battery for the igniter so just be mindful of that when you get one of these I believe the place is right there for it but yes you have to that's what the supply it looks like an allen key or hex key is for at the back. So guys, see back here, in the back of the um, oven, they provided, I believe this is a AAA battery, kid? Yep. AAA battery goes in there. This is for the igniter. And then there's a cap that'll let the screw back on. So this is the cap that came off of it. Screw that back on, and that should work the igniter in the front. And we just have to put these screws back in to secure the back. All right, guys, so this is the um, thermometer. We have to put the batteries in. We've got to kind of slide it out a bit from the front. Nice. Included. So we're just going to pull this little tab right here. So you pull that plastic tab out, kid. Just pull it straight up. All right, that should engage the batteries. And there's a little switch here. 
depending on where in the world you are, you may want to switch it to Fahrenheit or Celsius, but let's see on the front. So there's the power button right there. Just press and hold that. One cool thing, guys, the covers are actually magnetic. So we're screwing the cover back on. It's pretty cool. We got that on. Make sure we can power it up. Um, there it is. There it is. It says on and tells us the temperature inside of the oven, which is off right now. We're still kind of putting it together. But something I want to bring up, if you put this back in, it's like a magnet. See how it just pops right into place? Yeah. See? I'm not sure. Try it. Yeah, try it out. Oh. Pretty cool. Does right. it? Yeah, it was, I think that's what that magnet in the back is for, to keep it in place. Oh. Let's get that back in there. And you just push and hold on the power button right there to turn it off. Push down and hold. Off. Let go. Perfect. All right, so now to the inside. So we have the, there's like a little um, porcelain, a piece of the stone that's, that comes with it to cover, cover up the hole if we're not using wood. So if you're, let's say if you're using gas, which we're planning to do to get this thing going, you wanna put this little cover over the side to protect it. Over here, there's a little ring that you put around the hole for the um, the burner for the gas mm -hmm. to keep any ashes or anything from getting down in there. We don't want anything falling in there, so that's what that's for. It's like a little ring that just sits on the top. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure we get everything out of here before we fire this thing up. Um, so far, so good. Everything looks really good. We have these little plastic pieces out of here. We don't want that. And we'll be right back. All right, so we have this thing that covers so that's for the side for the wood we just talked about that but that's another piece that comes with it right mm -hmm. it sits in place if you're using wood to keep some things from falling down in there so but this would then go over here to cover up the burner we would remove this ring and then we put it right here, here. You go to protect the burner if you're choosing to use wood. That's pretty cool. Gave it a lot of cool accessories. All right, All right so after the battery is installed, before you start it, you actually have to, is the igniter, you push in and hold and turn to get your flame going. Right now we don't have the propane turned on, but just wanted to share that. Push in and hold to get it going. And then uh, turn it off. All right, so to get this going, you guys look back there, it should be a little pilot light that comes on, but you have to push in until you hear the ticking sound. You guys may not be able to see it, but there's a little blue pilot light that just right there, right in there. All right, mm -hmm. then you turn the dial, that's to get it going. And you turn the dial some more, there's our flame. Look at that.